All right, welcome everybody back to the channel. In this video, we have inside game with a new buffed 50 GS. Yes, again, I don't know why. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and enjoy the video. All right, so yesterday, if you guys know, they released an update basically allowing you to free download Black Ops 6 if you pre-ordered it, right? We know that. But they also updated MW3. They fixed stability, which I don't know if that really was fixed, but that's beyond the point. They buffed a gun. They buffed the 50 GS again. <laughs> like, why? So today we brought in a ton of gear. We're going to give this baby a shot again, use it some more, and just have a little bit of fun before Black Ops 6. That's really all we're kind of going for here. But, uh, yeah. I will have the build at the end of the video for you guys as well if you guys do want to use this exact build. Now, the build with this, it's kind of simple to say the least. It isn't really too much of a process to use this. I mean, like, you can really run whatever the heck you want to run with this thing. I have tested it, and no matter what, it's always good. So, I mean, you guys can kind of pick your own poison there. It doesn't really matter too much. Uh, okay. We need to... I guess we can grab this vehicle up here. It's on top of this bridge. To get to it, we have to hit this ladder. And then zip line. So, there we go. And then we can hop in here. But, yeah, man, it's crazy how they buffed this again. <laughs> <laughs> you would not expect it, but they definitely did. They have been buffing a ton of good weapons. Also, let me know in the comment section if you guys are excited for Black Ops 6. Boys, it is releasing at the end of this week. Man, I cannot be more excited. I talk about it every video, but don't worry. Only a few more days, and you guys will never hear me say about how excited I am about the game. But, okay. Hopefully we can get some contracts this game. Like, it has been so bad in Tier 3, and I know a lot of you guys have going through the same problem. Like, if you don't have a Scorcher, put it this way. Don't even play. Because <laughs> it is rough, man. It is not easy getting around the Tier 3 zone and finding contracts. Hopefully we can get a few. I do need to do a contract just so we can get some Essence to Triple Pack. I figured instead of bringing in a Flawless, we'll just bring in a Refined. Be a little bit more useful of the loot that I always destroy. So why not? Plus we have max containment, so it's only one contract and we can triple pack. Now, one thing I would like to do, I guess if we can, we can grab this weapon safe contract. And it takes a little bit, but we kind of need to just do it. Instead of running around looking for something that's probably not going to uh, pop up. Okay. We can go in here real quick. And then we will be good. So go ahead and put this drill on here. What I usually do for this contract is I'll just come over here, hit this ladder, go up here, and then you just hop up this way. Come on, grab the ledge. Holy moly. Grab the ledge. There we go. <laughs> and then come over to this corner, and you'll make your easy progress. Look at all those zombies. They're all running to that other guy. Bang. 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 Come on, zombies. Bring it on. Yeah, I don't know why they just keep buffing this gun. <laughs> like, it never has actually needed a buff. And then they just keep buffing it. So I will take it all day long. Come on. Yeah, and then after this we'll go triple pack, which is over here. And then we'll figure out what we're going to do next. And then we'll end up going to the Dark Ether. I'm not sure exactly which one we're going to go to. We can really go to whatever one we decide. It wouldn't hurt to actually go to the newer one, but to be fair, I've been there quite a bit, and honestly, man, I'm getting bored of it. So, I mean, we could go there, but it just doesn't sound fun. At all. Like, at all, at all. <laughs> I don't know how you guys feel about the game right now, but to me, I'm just ready for the new one, for the new Black Ops 6. It has been kind of weird. Also, I'm going to be releasing my final MWZ video either Wednesday evening or Thursday morning. Because when the game releases, we're going to be uploading like crazy schedule Because when the game releases at midnight for me, Thursday, we're literally going to be uploading videos at 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m. Like, it's going to actually be crazy, our upload schedule. So, all I can tell you guys is just keep your notifications on if you guys are going to be up during that time for me, which I'm central time, so kind of relate off of that but if you have notifications on i mean you will be notified up to three videos that's how youtube works so yeah but yeah our schedule is going to be crazy so i'm trying to figure out when i want to post the final mwz video on the channel and then kind of go from there all right we finished this nice uh okay let's open up our rift real quick thank you self-revive give me it 
Mimic, what are you doing? Holy, I'm red screened. Oh my gosh. Okay. We need to go to pack a punch now. We can refill, get some thermites back, and then we have enough. We have 12,195 essence. That's a good amount. Not really, because we're about to spend every single penny of it on packing. <laughs> but it's not a big deal. I'm not too worried about it right now. Uh, okay. All the way in here. Slap this on. Thank you. Maybe a bounty will spawn up here. Maybe we can get lucky. Sometimes you can. Sometimes you can't. Guess we will see. You never know. That fella is just scorching everywhere. I'm just waiting for a contract to prey on. I'm going to chill right here and wait. <laughs> Maybe we can get a bounty. I hope. I really do hope because that would kind of suck if we don't get one. Because then we can't show the buff of the weapon. Zombie, you're on my side. What are we doing, buddy? Okay, we, uh... He, he did not want to switch sides like that. Zombies, leave me alone. Okay, uh, still nothing. I mean, we could go do a tier 2 bounty, but, like, what proof does that show, right? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> we would disintegrate the boss. Like, just turn it into freaking mist. Come on, contract. Spawn us in a beautiful bounty that we can just snag up. Sometimes you gotta do this, man. It is so unfortunate how the game is, but, I mean, really, what can you do? Uh, there's a tear up here. I feel like once I go up here, one's just going to spawn in, but sometimes that's how it works. Okay, somebody's playing over there. I'm sure he's going to get revived. Let's hit this real quick. If anything, we could take down the Stormcaller. We could remember that he's right here. Just pay attention to the attack map is all we can do. They're completing an escort, so when they finish that, there's going to have a contract pop up. But the question is, is why isn't one popped up right now? <laughs> it does not make sense. Even after we did that weapon save, well, I guess uh, probably a contract spawned in. We just weren't paying attention because we were coming to pack a punch. Come on, game. Why are there so many people at the Wonder Biz? Just slowly waiting for a beautiful, beautiful bounty to spawn in. Maybe if we kind of head over here a little bit. Sometimes it seems like you got to be out of the area for one to spawn. But then sometimes it doesn't. This tear is still here. Uh, come on, game. I'm sure that escort's finished. There's no way another contract does not spawn in right now. Come on. If one doesn't spawn in, in like the next few, like, 20 seconds or something, we're just going to go kill the Stormcaller. Because there's, there's realistically no point. An Outlast just spawned in. But everybody's going to grab that. I'm praying on a bounty. That's all I care about. Uh, I feel like one's going to spawn up here, but when? Is the question. <laughs> Dude, there is literally no thing spawning in. Let's just go kill the Stormcaller. Why not? I don't really want to waste too much time sitting there and just hoping one spawns in. Alright, buddy. Where are you, Mr. Stormcaller? Uh, there he is. What's up, friend? Just played up real quick. Holy moly. Oh my gosh, dude. Every zombie was just right where I was standing. That is just crazy. Let me throw a decoy. Oop. Come here. Get him. There we go. Give me the gold skull. Oop. Run. Run. There's a bounty. We ain't going to be able to get to it. Let me go up here. 
I mean, maybe we can. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, we are pretty far away, but all we can do is try, right? You can't complain about it if you don't at least give it a try. This is one thing I know for a fact. Uh, those guys are 100% going for it. Whatever. We could go to the Dark Aether. We've killed the Stormcaller, which was really, really fast. For sure. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, we truthfully might as well. Where's a buy station at? We don't even have enough, but we have enough to sell this. Uh, okay. Let me head back to this buy station. We'll sell the gold skull, and then we'll buy a Casimir. Just to help us out with the extractors a little bit. And then we should be good. But before we do that, I want to refill my decoys, because we're not going to be able to have three Casimirs. We're only going to be able to have two. So we're going to need something else for one of the uh, extractors. We can just go over here real quick. It's not too much out of the way. Uh, we don't have really any perks, but I'm not too worried about that. We have the ones we need to survive. Everything else is always just a bonus, at least for me. So over here, 138 meters. We can stow this. There's a ton of things chasing us. Go, 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 go. What's in here? Essence. It's a friendly dog. I do have my friendly dog as well. I'll probably call him in whenever we go to the Dark Aether. Okay, give me... Okay, we got a cell. And then Casimir. Okay, we can hit this tear. And we'll be good. Alright, we can go... Oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> no! <laughs> there a bounty just spawned in, dude. Right where we were. Alright, we're gonna go to this Dark Aether. Uh, it should be pretty easy. Really shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully. I'm pretty sure. Did I bring in an Elder Sigil? I think so. I hope so. But uh, we're going to go to this Dark Aether. So I will see you guys when we get there. Uh, yeah. Let's do this. All right, we just now spawned in. Uh, should we? We don't even have enough to buy Death Perception. Okay, whatever. It's not a big deal. We can always come back and buy it. Uh, okay, so let's call in our Dog Bone. We have our two Casimirs. I'm going to equip our decoys real quick, because what we're going to do is we're going to use our Aether Shroud and a decoy for the first extractor. I feel like the first one can be the easiest. Sometimes there's a lot that spawns in, but for the most part, if you're fully plated... And you just throw a decoy or ether shroud. You should have enough time to do it without dying. If you, like, literally go and start doing it. That's that first eye on the Elder Mega Bomb. I guess that's kind of clutch he spawned in because... I mean, we're not going to kill him, but... <laughs> we did it that quick for the first one. Which obviously is the easiest one to do, but still. It's an Elder Mega Bomb. That can be a pain in the rear to kill with other weapons. Alright, let me do this. Bada bing, bada boom. And first one is now finished. Now we can go and equip these. And then we can head over here. I remember there was this bug a while back, if you guys were subscribed then. 
but we'd come to the dark ether and literally half of the map wouldn't even be spawned in <laughs> i was like what the heck <laughs> it was so challenging sometimes because i'm serious like you would not see any of the walls you would just randomly be running and just run right into a wall now if you knew the map it was a little bit easier like i knew it a little bit but i'm sure if like a beginner had that problem oh man i feel bad for them because <laughs> it was not easy uh, okay Kazmir. there we go and then we can do this one and then we'll do this contract okay bada bing bada boom there we go what's in here ether blade refined phd elder sigil what a great reward riff low key like, I'll take a Refined all day, and I'll also take an Elder Sigil all day. But most importantly, I will take a Aether Blade every day, all day long, every, re or, uh, every reward rift. Like, that's ca that's cool. Take every item out of the game for me, but just give me uh, Aether Blades, and I'll be happy. <laughs> like, I will not complain at all. Oop, 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 oop. Okay, yeah, that was kind of expected. Isn't my friendly Hellhound here? Or no, did he die? There's no way he's already dead, is there? There you are, Rocket. He is almost dead, but... I don't know how. I mean, he has been absent this entire time, I feel like. <laughs> Literally. Go. Okay, we should be good. Leave me alone, Hellhounds. Leave my friendly Hellhound alone, you zombies. Triple Thermite. Quadruple thermite. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah. Uh, is my friendly hellhound still alive again? I I can use myself revives. I there's no problem doing that. I just I don't have to. I don't want to. Uh, okay. I take it. Rocket's dead. Cause he is not nearby anywhere. It's okay though. We can just do our usual strategy. We still have, what is it, two self revives? Let's equip our decoys now. We're almost to the halfway point on this. There's a monkey bomb over there. I normally don't pick those up. Now, I don't know why. I just simply don't. Like, I have never really picked one up. I've used them, of course. Holy moly, I gotta stop doing that. I gotta pay attention. But, uh, yeah, I have not picked up monkey bombs in the longest time and used them for some stupid reason. Which, honestly, if I started picking them up, I probably would never have to buy Kazmir's again. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Dude, oh my gosh. This is kind of hectic. We gotta play this smarter now, because we only have one self-revive left. We do have a decoy, though. Okay, and then we can hop over here. Move out of the way, Mangler. You are irritating me. Okay, we can hop up here for this. There we go. Nice and easy. Let's throw a decoy. Okay, what's in here? Dog bone. We'll take it. All right, do we want to go by death perception? We can. See if there's any wonder weapons around here. It wouldn't hurt, right? Why not? That's the thing. Why not? Why not do it? We're here. We have the essence. Might as well just take the few minutes to just look around. We could find some scorchers. Never hurts, right? Drop down. Death perception. Okay. Now we can go look. See what we can come across. We can go all the way over here. Throw on a plate. Bang. Zombie, help me out here, buddy. Okay, let's just go check uh, over here real quick. Oh man, there's no way I didn't grab the ladder. <laughs> I missed that jump by the freaking thinnest hair ever. We'll grab that key. Uh, let me just hop up here again. Because we got some uh, zombies who are being crazy today. Okay. Is there anything in here? There is. Oh, I did not actually mean to equip that, but I was in a very stressful spot. <laughs> Being so many of them, but it's okay. The Wonder Wav is pretty good. Uh, we can check it out over here. There's one in there as well. Okay. So 
So what we can do is we can head down into this well. Give me this. Is there a tear? There is. Beautiful. We can head down here. Into this. Grab that. And then jump over here. And then wait for this to kind of straighten up. 50 GS, baby. I love using this pistol. It is so good. I gotta plan this right. It's so weird. I have never liked that jump. <laughs> it's so stressful, dude, and it gets you so mad whenever you miss it. It's crazy. Okay, now what we can do is we can head up to the top area, see if anything spawned in up here, and then we can go open up that other one and then head to Xville. So yeah, it, it isn't really too bad to do this. It definitely can be pretty quick. Uh, okay. Gotta go this way. But we already got a Wonder Waff that we, frankly, equipped on accident. Okay, nothing in here. Now what we can do is we can head down here. Go over this way. We can pull this bad boy out because we might need it here in a second. Scorcher, we'll take it. And we can head up to Xville. Not too bad, huh? Definitely not a bad little run in the Dark Aether. I've had worse, for sure. We got an ether blade, dog bone, scorcher case, refined, and an elder sigil. I'll take it, dude, all day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will throw the build up on screen for this 50 GS. I de definitely recommend running it, man. It is so good. It is so much fun to use, and it just absolutely destroys bounties. Unfortunately, my games are full of sweats and tryhards, so we could not pick up a bounty. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Have a good one. Peace.